Good afternoon. Welcome to the retargeting session. This is Dr. Prasad Kulkarni. Today, okay, the session is having the objective of defining what is retargeting, what are the benefits of retargeting, and how do you retarget the customers. Many times you might have seen on the search engine, the last time you have searched the product, those advertisements are appearing without your notice. Or when you want to search the product, the similar advertisement appear on the sites. So how this is possible? That's the strategy what we call it as retargeting. So let me define the retargeting strategy. Retargeting is the strategy of the reaching the consumers who have access to your website or app earlier. So this basically this is done with a uh, Google or Google partner sites in the Google Ads campaigners. It has two important goals. One is to create the customer awareness. Second one is to make the customer who have already okay, they can see your website, make them to purchase the product. So therefore, there are two goals. One is awareness and the second one is purchase. Let me move on. What are the benefits of the retargeting? One is because we can have a well-timed targeting that means a customer is looking for the product once again and we can okay insert our ad when he starts searching say for example earlier customer has seen you no know, 4g mobiles less than 5000 rupees if a company is producing such mobiles you can place the ad once again to the customer once he starts searching for 4g mobiles with less than 5000 once again the second you know, important aspect is we can also have a focused advertising that is as i told so customer is searching for 4g phones with a less than 5000 rupees tag and okay we can now sell tell the target customers okay this is our product with a 4500 rupees so we can have a focused advertising third one is because of this retargeting we can have a large scale reach the customer who have not targeted by the company also can be included in the retargeting strategies. Uh, we can have an efficient pricing with the automated bidding options to reach the specific customers in the Google Ads managers. The fifth you know, advantage is we can create you know, ads very easily with the ad gallery available on the digital marketing. And the last important benefit is we can have a statistics about the campaign that we are running. That means how we are performing on the, the retargeting ads. So these are the benefits of retargeting. Let me move on to the what, how do we retarget? There are various ways of retargeting. One is standardized retargeting. In this, we will be using display networks to okay, showcase the company products. Okay. The, usually the people are the past users of the product. Second one is dynamic retargeting. Assume that the company is having more than 1000 products or 500 products and the customer is looking for a particular product why he should waste the time. So we can very specifically somebody is looking for a smartphone with a 64 MP camera and if you have one or two in that you can specifically target those to the customers so that's what we call it as dynamic you know, retargeting the third important one is uh, remarketing with a, a list of search uh, search ads now assume that the customer leaves your website or app but has shown the interest in that but you can give the advertisement on his IP by cookies, whenever he searches something, we can say that this advertisement okay, was interesting to you. This product was interesting to you. So that's an example of search ads. The fourth important internally targeting strategy is uh, no videos. As you know that you know the demand for the video consumption has increased rapidly okay, in the post-corona era. So therefore, you know, customers, you know, companies are now thinking about targeting using the YouTube or similar sites. So now the retargeting is done through uh, videos. The last one is you know, customer list retargeting. 
in this retargeting strategies once a customer log into any google sites or google account uh, then come you know the for the people who have okay shown interest in the google their advertisement will be shown uh, to the customer say customer has searched for the 4g phone with less than 5000 you log into the gmail or youtube account and uh, ads start appearing next to that so okay it is all about how you reach the customer after the google account logins so in a summary there are five ways you can retarget one is standardized retargeting second one is dynamic retargeting third one is remarketing list for the specific search so fourth one is video retargeting fifth one is customer list you uh, know retargeting or remarketing okay please uh, for details log into my blog prasadkulkarnimarketing.blogspot.com if you like this video okay share it to your whatsapp groups subscribe to my channel thank you